Good morning. My name is David Gooch. I'm an Executive Director of Development at Network and a member of the Executive Leadership Team. This morning I want to outline to our residents and our staff team the key issues that were discussed at the Network Board meeting that took place on Tuesday the 29th of March. It was the in-person meeting and it was an action-packed agenda. The meeting was presided over by our new interim chair, which is John Gooding. John's been a long-standing member of the board. Um, he was the vice chair and um, the chair of investment committee. I say he stepped up following the resignation of Bernadette Conroy. At the meeting, the chairs of all of our committees um, provided feedback on their recent meetings um, and highlighted key elements um, from, from those meetings. Um, just to remind you of who those people are, we've got um, Anne Turner, Chair of Finance Committee, Barbara Brownlee, Chair of Customer Services, Paul Plummer, Chair of the People, Governance and Culture Committee, and then John Goodin, step forward for the Chair of Investment Committee. There was a strong focus throughout the meeting on financial matters and the services that we deliver to our residents. I wanted to start off with looking at the financial matters that were discussed by the board. Um, the first one was that the board approved the 2022-23 budget. Um, there was a um, full discussion around the budget, which was introduced by Peter Benz, and he drew the members' attention to the fact that it was set at the lowest operating margin for at least a decade, which is a reflection of the challenging operating environment that we're in. Uh, the second point was that we um, introduced members to an update on the business plan, um, which was approved. It included um, our biggest ever allocation for sustainability measures, increasing the budget up to 104 million from its previous um, position of 90 million. Our Executive Director of Finance confirmed that in the context of external challenges facing the organisation, we're in a strong financial position and we have secured sufficient equity to fund our operational and our development activities. Board then moved on to consider the cost of living increase for staff from the 1st of April. Um, they accepted the recommendation from the People, Governance and Culture Committee to award a 3.1% increase for staff, but there was also a minimum increase of £1,000 to reflect the fact that they were concerned at the impact of cost inflation um, on lower paid um, staff. We then had an update on the stock rationalisation strategy. There was a revision to a, um, an existing policy that operates within network, and it was to do a more targeted approach to a limited number of stock disposals, the aim of which would be to in increase the investment available um, for our investment program and to strengthen our balance sheet. Well, from moving on to the financial matters, there was a detailed review of our performance uh, measures and a, a long debate and discussion around the services we're providing to residents. There's a particular focus on the difficulties of delivering a high quality repair service in the current market. Um, and Jerry Doherty explained the differences that we're experiencing in providing sort of that first class service. There's a lot of um, disruption in the current contractors and um, price inflation and material shortages do at times mean delays to our customers. The discussion then moved on to the sort of wider cost of living um, increase facing our households. And there was um, strong support that we should be looking hard as to what we can do as network homes. Um, and there was a decision taken that we would have a more detailed report at the May meeting. There was also an increase into the charitable fund up to 140,000 in the forthcoming year. The final part of the meeting I wanted to tell you about was the work that I, I'm responsible for, which is the development um, program and for building safety. I gave members a detailed update on, on, four, on four projects, um, all of which are very important to the association, which is Merrick, Road in Southall, Northwick Park in Brent, Orion Park in Ealing, and Premier Place in, in Barnet. All those projects are very important. They were discussed at recent investment committee, and because of their importance, the board agreed to hold a special meeting in approximately three weeks time to go through uh, the delivery of those, those schemes and the programmes for those schemes in a little bit more detail. I then brought them up to speed with the latest progress on our building safety remediation program. Members were particularly pleased to see that we were coming towards the end of our capital way remediation project. And they also welcomed the commentary they've been provided to see the additional support that may be available to leaseholders 
um, as, as a result of changes to the building safety bill that's currently going through Parliament. I hope that review has been helpful, gives you an idea of those key things that were taken that were discussed at the meeting. There will be a future meeting coming up on the 31st of May and there'll be further updates following that meeting. Thanks very much.